Stratford-upon-Avon played host to Sir Ian Botham and a crowd of fellow walkers in October last year for leukaemia research. As the president of the charity and further to the success of Sir Ian's walk in 2006, he decided to get walking again in 2008. As well as his friends, including Daley Thompson and charity representatives, he invited members of the public to join him. Um, I think this is probably my fifth time of, uh, of walking with Ian. So it's probably eight or ten years, because he does one every other year. I think that uh, the other nice thing that he's doing nowadays is he's spending much more of his time in city centres. And so we actually only walk half of what we used to walk during the, during the days. Now we're only doing 14, 15 miles, whereas before we used to do 28 or 30 miles. And that's a whole different ball game. When they asked me to, to come on the walk, they told me all the places that we're coming to, and uh, I chose Stratford after I'd gone onto Google and found out that it's very flat here. So yeah, this is, this is my kind of place. So Ian arrived in the town to cheers and applause ahead of his walk through Stratford-upon-Avon and into Charlcott Park. We've, we've just tied, we've, we've picked out nine towns throughout the country. We're going to, we're here uh, today, tomorrow we're in um, Clandudno, then we're in Harrogate, and then we're in uh, Agave up near Glasgow, and then we finish in Durham. It, it's picked, um, basically we're trying to find places we haven't hit too hard so far, and new towns. And we've, we've got one more walk planned after this, which will be the 25th anniversary in two years' time and then we'll assess. It's been magnificent everywhere. Uh, as I was saying just now on television, I think because people are, who wanted to be involved in the walks uh, haven't been able to logistically before, on this walk they can and it's made a big difference. Well, I know that if Daly's here, it's flat. <laughs> because uh, one thing is for sure that Daly hates his hills and uh, he's been a great supporter of all the walks we've done over the years. And I saw him last night when I walked into the hotel and I said, DT, it must be a flat day tomorrow. <laughs> People can come and join us for the last four miles. Uh, we had eight miles in Windsor Great Park the other day. Uh, we were in uh, Ickwood Park yesterday in uh, Bury St. So it, it's really worked and it's taken off and uh, the public have really got behind it. That was great. Okay. In total, Beefy's Great British Walk Against Childhood Leukaemia has raised over half a million pounds for leukaemia research, making it the most successful walk yet. Three, two, one. Leukemia Research is the only national research charity solely dedicated to leukemia and related blood disorders in both adults and children. The charity is committed to improving treatments, finding cures and learning how to prevent leukemia and other lymphomas, myeloma and other blood disorders diagnosed in 24,500 people in the UK every year. Blood cancers can affect all ages and every ethnic group, however the outcome has improved for children, teenagers and adults with these diseases. How's it going, Sir Ian? Very well, thank you. Very good. Sir Ian's 12th walk for the charity covered more than 140 miles over the nine days and after 10 miles through Stratford, 120 people were waiting at Charlcott Park to do another four miles alongside him. So today Sir Ian Botham has been walking here in Charlcott Park, raising money for leukaemia research. Sir Ian Botham has been leading the way. Um, got over 200 people joined us here in Stratford-upon-Avon, uh, hoping to raise over £30,000 today. I've really enjoyed the walk today. I was in uh, Stratford this morning to see Ian set off, and then we've come over here to Charlcott. And it's been great fun to see so many people enjoying themselves and lots of supporters. Um, I'm tired now, but quite exhilarating. My daughter was... Um, diagnosed with leukemia in 1996 um, and obviously at that time we didn't know much about leukemia at all um, she was treated at Birmingham Children's Hospital and we saw an advert in the local paper that the Heart of England branch were having their AGM and so we went along and from there we got involved in fundraising. I started my website, Just Giving website, with a target of £250 but I'd exceeded that in three days so I raised my target to £1,000 and I'm very pleased to say over the weekend I did exceed that target, so just over £1,000 I've raised by coming along today. Today I'm feeling a little bit stiff after today's walk, but um, five down now, only got four to go, so it should be uh, easier from here onwards. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to keep up with Ian. Obviously, he was speeding along much quicker than we could walk. But uh, it was great, and to think that he's brought out so many people here today who wouldn't have come if it hadn't been for Sir Ian Botham.